Coming off a big win on Thursday, beating Ohio State, the number 19 Iowa women are back at home today to take on Michigan State. The Hawkeyes looking for another Big Ten win. Let's go out to the action. Former Hawkeye Megan Gustafson at the Carver Hawkeye Arena for her jersey being retired. Hawks start with a bang. Nice pass from Mackenzie Meyer to Amanda Olinger. Iowa leads by six early in the game. Later in the first, Kathleen Doyle is going to drive in. She's going to hit a mid-range jumper, and it's good. She had a team high 14 points in the opening half. Second quarter now, Amanda Olinger drives in. She goes to the lane and gets the foul as she gets the basket. basket. Iowa leads, and here we go. Michigan State closes the gap, though. Tyron McCutcheon, the scoop and score off the glass. Here we go. Now it's tied at 50 in the fourth. Then McKenna Warnock takes over. Floater, she gets that one. Basket goes in, plus the foul. Gustafson is loving that one. A couple of possessions later, Warnock to the rack again. Hawk, Hawks lead 57-53 at that point. The freshman wasn't done, and here she goes. She's going to get a three at the top of the key. She's going to make it look easy. And what a great job by the freshman. And then she caps it off another and one. McKenna Warnock with 15 points in the fourth. Iowa pulls away with a 74-57 win, 32 in a row at home. And now the Hawkeyes sit alone at the top of the Big Ten. Hawkeye headquarter reporter Adam Rosso has more from the game. It was Megan Gustafson's day here in Iowa City, but McKenna Warnock stole her spotlight for a few minutes in the fourth quarter. The freshman's 15 points in that final frame, the difference in the Hawks win over Michigan State, as Gustafson's number 10 was raised to the rafters here at Carver Hawkeye Arena. Everyone just gives me confidence. Um, for me, it's just knowing I have the support from my teammates and from the bench and from the coaches. So honestly, they just told me to go out and play my game and play confident. I had a couple play calls for me, and um, everyone on the court just told me to take it at them. I was telling her the whole time, go by them. They couldn't guard her, and she took advantage of it, and I'm just so proud of the way she stepped up. I mean, that's big time playing in front of however many people as a freshman. Uh, so, yeah, I was just telling her what a stud she is. We had to win for Megan, right? I mean, uh, we didn't want to be the spoilers tonight, and uh, well, we're so proud of Megan and what she's done for our program, and it was just a great way for her to be honored not only at the Jersey retirement, but by us playing a good game, especially that fourth quarter. A crowd of more than 13,000 showed up as the Hawks won their 32nd consecutive game at home, and the win also put Iowa atop the Big Ten halfway through the conference schedule. Iowa now back in action twice on the road this week, beginning on Thursday with Penn State. Reporting from Iowa City, Adam Rosso for Hawkeye Headquarters. Thank you, Adam. Iowa's Megan Gustafson has her number 10 jersey retired after Iowa's win over Michigan State. Gustafson was the 2019 AP Women's College Basketball Player of the Year. Hawkhead quarter reporter Adam Rosso will have more on Gustafson tomorrow.